Thank you very much, Holly. Now, when the first park run was launched 14 years ago, the founder had no idea it would become the international phenomenon that it is today. More than 3 million people in 20 countries gather every Saturday in 1,500 events and together have run over 175 million kilometres. Joining us today, Leanne and Nolda Chamoy, who brought park run to New Zealand. Good morning to you both. Good morning. Hi. This is very cool. So what exactly is park run? At its simplest, it's a free five kilometer timed run, but it's so much more than that. It's not just a run in the park and it's always a run. It's never a race because it's just to be fun and inclusive for all. Basically. Wow. Uh, so what's, tell me a little bit about the history of it. It started back in 2004 when Paul Sinton Hewitt, who's an old running friend of mine, we spent our lives running together in South Africa, wanted to get a group of friends back together to run. He was at that time a bit injured. And he really thought, well, it's a good idea to get everybody together. So on the October 2014, 2004, 13 of them and three volunteers got together in Bushy Park. And they just car carried on meeting every Saturday morning for a jog around the park. And that just, over, over a short period of time, started growing. But it was really just a community thing, get together and have a run with your mates. And then it's obviously spread so far into so many yeah. countries as well. Yeah. Was it an easy, so you're obviously both runners? Yes. Yeah. Was it an easy thing for you to launch in New Zealand? Well, yeah, it's it, fairly easy. Um, the, it, it, the, the, the heart started here was uh, somebody put up his hand in who had come back from the UK. He'd been living in the UK for a few years in a run park run. He wanted to start one here. Richard and he, and he asked, it, and he asked if we'd be keen. If it, and then Paul, so he approached Global Team, and Paul, old running friend of mine, said, "Would we be interested?" And we said, "Yeah, of course." And we were surprised how easy it was to start. You know, the local councils came on board very easily. Yeah. You know, was there a lot of permissions to be get gained from um, the place? Or? A lot less than we thought there would be. Because yes. we're running in a, in a park environment, you know, you don't have running across roads and all that kind of stuff. So, so it was easier okay. from that, yeah. that perspective. So that makes it a little bit easier. Yeah. Yeah. So how do you keep it free for runners? Because that's one of the things, is it's free. Yeah. yeah. Well, we've got national and local sponsorship, and that covers the operational costs and um, some equipment that we do yeah. need, obviously. Um, and also it's run by volunteers. Each core group that sets a park run up has the main person who lets have a park run. And then everybody else mm. volunteer. And every week we welcome the volunteers, we welcome all new park runners, and we always ask new park runners to volunteer, hopefully at least three times a year, yeah. but more if they wish. And um, some volunteers are only volunteers. They don't run because wow. they come and they support their f family members and they'll volunteer each week. And three times a year. I mean, anyone can do that. I mean, that's easy, yeah. So it's giving up uh, three runs a year. Minutes, you know, because okay. there are some people that are very passionate and, and try and run every week. Mm. But, you know, to give up three weekends to, to be a marshal or to help putting out the cones or something like that. And let's so be honest, they're, they're only short. 5K runs. Yes. It's not going to take all day, is it? No, no, not at all. So who's it for? What sort of level of fitness do you have to have to be involved? Well, it's it's not a running race it's sort of just a run and it's for all abilities whether you're young and old whether you've just started running whether you are an elite runner you, everybody and you can walk it jog it run and jog mm. it whatever you feel like doing well you obviously get some quite big crowds that one looks like a biggie yeah well that looks like Palmerston North, I think. Yeah. Um, yes. Yeah. Uh, there are some very big crowds. I mean, uh, the run, the numbers in New Zealand are small compared to other parts around the world. You know, uh, yes. a, a big run in New Zealand would be in the mid 300s. You know, at different po in at different locations. Mm. Yes. But in other countries like Bushy Park, where it started, you would get 1,500. In South Africa, you know, you'd get mm. 1,500, 2,000 wow. thing. So it's just people who want to get together and go for a bit of a run. A and run and a walk, you know, so the, it's, it's, a, it's a community thing. So, yes. you know, we encourage people who are walkers to come along as well. Yes. And in order to that degree, we've got a person at the end, which we call a tail walker. We used to call them tail runners, but they're tail walkers. And they're the last person along. So nobody's basically left to, to be last on the road. Yeah. No so, one's left behind. Nobody's you know, left behind. Very so important. finishing the park run in 55 minutes or an hour is no big deal. Yeah. You know, yeah. it's, so what sort of feedback do you get from participants? Gosh, where do we start? Um, I think most people love the community spirit of it. Um, they love the fact that it's free for all, obviously, that they can bring their dog along. We were listening to Kelly and 
mm. socializing dogs. You can bring your dog, you can bring your baby in mm. a buggy. Um, and also, we always have a coffee afterwards. Oh, perfect. Which is what it's all about as well. Yeah. Getting together afterwards and having a chat and a debrief on mm. life and runs and other yeah. events. And it's timed, you say, as well. So how do you get the time so that work? You, you, you register to, to run. Mm -hmm. So you go onto the website and you, you register and you get a barcode. And you basically run with your barcode. And as you cross the line, at the start of the run, somebody's got a stopwatch and click, click, clicks. And as you cross the line, you get given a position token and you go a few meters and then somebody scans your barcode and your position token. And the event director will go home that evening or that, that, that morning and download it onto his computer, so press you a few buttons. So you can see what you're doing. You yes. Can see. So you are registered online where you get results and everything. So you'll get an email mm -hmm. shortly after the run saying, you know, Dear Leanne, well done. Your, yeah. You've run your X number of park run. Your time was such and such. So you can work it up and get and, a better, better time. And so you, yes. you get a full history of your runs. That's good. To the point that all this record is kept. Because once you've registered, you can run anywhere in the world. All right. So, so I could rock up to somewhere in South Africa. Yes. Anyway. With your barcode and, mm. and run there. That'd and it, and it'll be added to your list of events that you've done. Yeah. And there's all these milestones. you know. So when you've run 50, you get a free red T-shirt with the park run logo Ooh. and 50 on the back. And when you get to 100. 100, you get a black one, and 250, it's like a dark blue one. Oh, everyone wants a dark blue there. And so if you always want to take part, what should they do? You go on to the parkrun.co.nz website, and uh, all the information's there, and um, there's a registration click where you link, and it, everything's there, and you print out your barcode, yeah. and you can laminate it if you wish, Ooh, fancy. and that's it, and that's your passport to any park run in the world or New Zealand. And then you can yeah. see where all of they, they are all around New Zealand, all around the world as well. Well, yeah, on, yes. each, on the website for each country, you just click um, uh, events, and it'll show you all the events in, in that particular country. Fabulous. And, and it'll show you the course and that, and you go anywhere in the world, and you'll click on, you know, Australia, and I'll show you which, you know, wherever yeah, you can go. Yeah. That is great. Well, no yeah. excuse not to get running. Hey, thank you both for joining us today. Thank this you. This has been really interesting.